Sediment is the number one pollutant in our streams and waterways. Soil loss not only degrades the land, but it also destroys aquatic ecosystems. Sediment can damage fish gills, decrease fish resistance to disease, smother eggs, and destroy habitat. For example, juvenile trout live in the spaces between rocks. and When these spaces become full of sediment, the stream can no longer support them. Although it is normal for streams to carry some sediment during heavy rainfall events, humans inadvertently put very large amounts of sediment into streams. The largest source is construction sites. There are many ways to minimize the amount of sediment reaching streams. Silt fences, sediment basins, and revegetation are some of the most commonly used tools for erosion control. However, these and other tools should be combined in an appropriate way to work effectively. These tools do have their limitations, and best management practices, or BMPs, are a good guide to follow. Even when some sediment control measures are in place, they may not be functioning properly. For instance, if water can get over, under, or around a silt fence, it is not effective. Here's an example of a very nice sediment basin that is functioning well, but a substantial portion of the water flowing off the site does not flow into the basin. It simply flows around it. On September 11, 2009, Muddy Water Watch site report cards were submitted online notifying the authorities of sediment control problems at three sites along the Highway 105 bypass in Boone, North Carolina. This site is next to Caldwell Community College and just behind Factory Homes of Boone. This site belongs to Wallace Propane and is across the street from Fairview Baptist Church. And this site is the new apple cart facility at the north end of the bypass. Over the past week, we have been working with the landowners and contractors to get these and other problems fixed. The Muddy Water Watch is a citizen patrol program training people to evaluate and monitor their local construction sites. As members of a Muddy Water Watch team, you too can help protect our rivers and streams by going out and evaluating construction sites near you.